Hi, this is Christina from the Mahara ePortfolio project. Today I'm going to demo a new Android application that Alan McNary, a colleague of mine at Catalyst IT in Wellington, New Zealand, just released this past Thursday, October 21st, 2010. What you can do with this application is that you can upload any files but most likely going to be used especially for images and video that you take on your Android phone for example here I have my HTC Desire and upload that immediately to a Mahara installation. Our Android application is um, open source and it's heavily based on Russell Stewart's Flickr application with which you can upload um, images taken with your camera onto Flickr. And because it is open source, it works with any Mahara installation, no matter whether it's a hosted one or one you put on to your own server. And of course, you can also make adjustments, improvements to the application itself. Currently, Mahara Droid only works with Mahara 1.4, which is in beta but you can already try it out on master.dev.mahara.org. Okay, so how does it work? Once you've installed Mahara Droid from the Android market, you can just click on the application and you get to the preference screen because before you start sharing any images or videos, you need to set some settings there. Um, the upload URI is already um, pre defined in there because currently we only have it installed for master.dev.mahara.org but you can change that if you install the future Mahara version 1.4 which is in development at the moment on your own server. Next of course you also need to provide your username. Once you've done that um, you go on to entering a token. Um, instead of using username and password for, for authentication, at the moment we have username and token. But in the future that might of course change, depending also what uh, features uh, users would like to have. So the token, in this case you already see one that I had entered, because I had already uploaded photos. But usually you see an empty screen and then you can enter a token that does not have to be anything very difficult because once you share a file the token is automatically renewed to something more difficult something like you have already seen. So once you've entered that token the application closes. That is not a mistake but um, that's just how it works at the moment. You need to remember that token and also enter it in your Mahara installation, in your personal settings, in order to allow the Android app to talk to um, your Mahara installation. The last thing you can do is um, set an upload folder. Per default that is mobile uploads, but of course you can change it to something else. As you can already see there, in the future we might make it uh, possible to immediately create a public view from your mobile uploads. Okay, once you've made all your settings, you can now either choose a file from your Android phone or take one, take a picture for example, And so in our case, I'll just take a picture of the picture of the picture. And that is going to be really interesting now, I must say, because suddenly we have so many pictures. But anyway, OK, let's take a picture quickly. And as you can see, I can now share that picture. And since we've made our settings, you can share your picture with Mahara Droid and you get to a screen that looks awfully familiar to those who have already uploaded pictures on to Mahara because you first need to click on the um, copyright notice that you're allowed to make this upload 
Then you can also change the name of the file. And once you've done that, you can upload that file and it is put into your Mahara installation. That was it for the demonstration purposes for today. And what we would like now to do is invite everybody to enter the discussions of how to use that application and also how to improve it. Maybe somebody, some other developers would like to join into the development. As I said earlier, Mahara Droid is open source, so anybody can just grab the code from the Google Code page and continue developing on it. Have a nice weekend and happy testing.